And I actually struggle with like what I want my style to be because sometimes I feel like like a hippie kind of vibe works for me. And then I, sometimes I feel like a like today, like a Fashion Nova vibe works for me. Yeah. And then there are days I feel like I should dress my age and dress more, um, I don't know, like a pinup or something. And then other days I think I should just wear like a white button down t-shirt and jeans. Yeah, but I that's the fun of it. Decide. That's the fun of it. You can do it all. Yeah, this is different true. days, this different strokes. True. This is true. <laughs> so I haven't seen you in a while. Yes. Because you <laughs> took a hiatus from the adult industry. I did. And for a couple of years. Yeah, you did. And I've been yeah. watching your journey on the oh. whole thing, and it's been uh, it's been really cool to watch. I love to watch people like grow and just you know discover like who they are. I think the journey is you know such an interesting part of the human condition, and you really like. I, you like your scenes you really like throw yourself into it i, I feel like you're somebody who's like an all or nothing kind of person mm -hmm. you just like whatever <laughs> it is like you throw yourself into it like wholeheartedly everything um have you found that as you're going through all of this like are you ever afraid of like throwing your whole being into something um or have you found that you you embrace you embrace that just like letting it all. I'm always afraid, mm -hmm. uh, but I've found that there's no bravery without fear. Um, so I'm always scared, but what's more painful to me is to not give my all to something and to live with regrets and to live in inauthenticity to who I actually am. Um, and I feel like that would be way more painful burden to bear than to just throw myself in. And everybody, everybody's different and I don't feel like everybody's that way or everybody needs to be that way. But for me personally, um, it would hurt to hold myself back. Mm -hmm. It would hurt to like not follow my heart and do what I feel called to do and throw myself into the journeys that I've thrown myself into. I've gotten so much out of it, out of it every single time. Like throwing myself into the adult industry, I blossomed, I grew, like I shed shame shackles. Like I was just like, oh my God, like deeply evolving as a human being and then leaving for a while and going on a really spiritual journey and it, a healing journey and caring about my mental health and processing a lot of childhood stuff was so beautiful as well. And like developing myself as a human being too. Like, who do I want to be? How do I want to look? What do, what's going on inside of me? You know, like really introspective time. That was really necessary as well. So I think I wouldn't be who I am if I wasn't able to throw myself in. I wouldn't be continually evolving. Yeah. If I wasn't able to, because um, that's my method of evolution, if you will. Yeah. Throw myself in. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> and, you know, that's something that so many people don't do. You know, so many people <laughs> remain stuck in the same rut and they do the same job their entire life and, you know, do the same things over and over again and date the same kind of people and have the same kind of friends. And then I think find themselves you know, at the end of their life, wishing that they had done so much more with their life, which is why I think like people like you and you see it too, like movies, books, TV shows, it's all about like the journey and trying to figure out who you are and, and not following the crowd. And I think that appeals to so many people because some people don't do that. Yeah. So We're it's all scared. Yeah. We're all just really scared. It's scary. And I have to tell you, there were times that like I read some of your posts where, you know, you kind of talked about like being free and, you know, jumping into the unknown and like, what if you just, you know, did what you wanted to do and like dropped all like the day-to-day -day shackles that we have, you know, that like our jobs and our commitments and our responsibilities. And there were definitely times that I fantasized about that. Like, what if I just quit my job yeah. and like <laughs> went to Italy, you know, and just like <laughs> lived in Italy. I used to have this fantasy when I was feeling really run down in the industry that I would just quit my job and I'd move to Italy and I'd sell flowers on the street corner. Oh, Like that was gonna be some <laughs> idyllic life, which pro probably would not be at all. But I always <laughs> had this like dream of, of doing that, but I feel very bound by my responsibilities to my parents, to my job. I mean, now that I have a kid, like there's no way that's happening. Yeah. And, I, and I'm fine with that. But there are definitely times that I Kids wish- change things. Yes. <laughs> But I think like I was so attracted to your journey and your story because I'm so unlike that. 
Yeah. You know, I'm so unable to like just drop everything and go and like do and what I want and seek out my dreams. And that's okay. Like I don't regret the decisions that I've yeah. made. I think there's like different types of people. Yeah. And we all have different mission in this world and shining a light on something different in this world. Yeah. You know? 